myself Devashish Kumar Sarkar, your host of the channel Travel In and Around the World. In this channel, you will see the most beautiful places in the world and you will get all the information you will need if you ever want to go to these places and what you want to see in and around this place. You have probably watched the last two episodes of our channel which was a nostalgic trip to the city of Las Vegas in USA with my friends from Malvia National Institute of Technology in the city of Jaipur in, in Rajasthan, India. In this episode, we are going to start a new mini-series of our recent visit to the beautiful town of South Lake Tahoe, which is located by the bank of the beautiful lake called Lake Tahoe and surrounded by Alpine Mountain. So let's get started in our journey to Lake Tahoe. Today we are going to a nearby place called Lake Tahoe which is around 220 miles from our home. When you are almost ready to start, this is the time my son Rube started burnishing the tire of the car which doesn't make much sense because we are just starting and it will be dirty in no time but that's how he is. He loves his car and he loves to take care of the car. As we had a short distance to cover today, we took the Alvaro Nice Road to Sunul Road, then took I-680 and then continued towards Interstate 80. If we check in Google Map, Google Map always shows the default route from our Union City home to South Lake Tahoe is going by Highway I-80 to Sacramento and then take Highway 50 to South Lake Tahoe. But my favorite route is go all the way to Donner Lake by Interstate 80 and then take the exit from there towards Kings Beach. In this way we can visit the north side of Lake Tahoe and then we can reach South Lake Tahoe. We took our first stop at Donald Lake Vista Point on Interstate 80. This is Donald Lake Vista Point. This is just by the side of I-80 and this is just a vista point not at the bank of the lake so this is donier lake around three hours from our home from Union City, California. This is Donier Lake near the uh, Donier Pass. Elevation of this place is around 6,500 feet. There is a hotel there at the distance. You can see a few people are boating. Family are posing here for photograph without jacket. It's cold. When I was discussing the routes to take 
to go to select the ho i usually choose the route to go by interstate 80 till donner lake because donner lake is one of my favorite place and i always try to spend some time at donner lake and then go to king's beach and then go to south lake tahoe we did the same in this trip too After stopping at Donier Lake, we went back to Freeway I-80 and went few miles towards Reno and then we took the exit 188B towards Kings Beach towards North Lake Tahoe. After taking exit at exit 188B, we take a right turn and we are now on highway 267. This will take us to Kings Beach and from here Kings Beach distance is around 10 miles. We are reaching King's Beach, as you can see. Now turn left and then turn In front left. of us is the lake. And we'll be just stopping at the parking lot we have on nearby. It should be nearby. So go a little further and you'll get to the parking lot at the right. We are at King's Beach. It's at the north of Lake Tahoe. The big Lake Tahoe is in front of us. Then the other side of the Lake Tahoe, which is in Nevada side. This is kind of the state borderline. This is just opposite of the Safeway, which is the only Safeway in King's Beach. As you can see, the beautiful Lake Tahoe can be seen. This is from the parking lot area. I'm going towards the lake. This is a nice picnic area. You can spend some quality time here. I found this interesting place, looks like this is kind of a model of the Lake Tahoe which says average depth is around 1000 feet, deepest depth is 1645 feet and shoreline 72 miles, volume you can see 
this is nice this is in Kingsbridge just opposite of Safeway in Kingsbridge look what we found here at this Kingsbridge parking lot this is a shape of the lake but more significantly there is a history attached to it. looks like the famous poet and writer Mark Twain is here and he has made a statement which is written here at least the lake burst upon us in noble street of blue water lifted 6300 feet above the level of the sea and walled by a rim of snow cloud mountain peaks that towered aloft full 3000 feet higher i thought it must be surely be a fairest picture in the whole earth afford mark twain 1872 From Skinks Beach to go to South Lake Tahoe, there are two options. You can take the California route by going via Tahoe City and Emerald Bay, or you can take the northern side, which goes by Incline Village and then uh, go by Nevada. We decided to go by Nevada side. We are currently crossing the small village of Incline Village. This is still in California. After we cross this Incline Village into Nevada, there is basically no human settlement at this site on the shore of the lake. We have now crossed the state line, crossing to the state of Nevada from California. Just for information, Lake Tahoe, half of it is actually in Nevada and other half is in California. We are now in the part of Nevada, right side is our beautiful Lake Tahoe. We are going south towards uh, South Lake Tahoe or state line. Another information is the capital of Nevada is not far from South Lake Tahoe. Actually, on this road, after we go a little further, we have to just turn left to go to the Carson City, which is the capital of Nevada. We are now almost at our destination. Our hotel Hard Rock is just a mile away from here. We are at the junction where South Lake Tahoe is showing straight and Minden if you want to go you have to turn left. This time at Lake Tahoe we are actually staying in not South Lake Tahoe, but uh, the adjacent state line, which is in Nevada. We are staying in the hotel called Hard Rock, which is a branch of the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas. Hard Rock Hotel, swimming pool, pool area.
our room was at sixth floor so we are now at sixth floor so it looks like uh, we have to go left from here to get our room let's find our room and get into the room Our room number was 605, it was a two queen bed, uh, let's give it room tour, first this is the restroom, uh, it's a small one uh, but has the required amenities, nothing to complain about. So as you get into the room, you can see the two queen bed, there is a mini refrigerator, there is a work desk area with a chair, there is a TV. In between the beds, there is a table, phone, and a mirror. One sofa, and the best thing is the view. We have a balcony, and from balcony, we have partial lake view. We packed our lunch from home so this time once we completed the check-in formality we had our lunch inside the room then we take some rest then in the evening we went out to explore the nearby places and mainly to spend some time near the lake shore area we are now at the brink of the beautiful lake tahoe this place is called regan park this is one of the public park in South Lake Tahoe. The other parks are mostly private. Those park actually charges some fees for daily use. This is a kind of a map of Lake Tahoe. It shows from DLB State Park on the left side to Zephyr Cove Resort on the right side. The South Lake Tahoe Park mostly this is. We are currently here, that is Lake Tahoe Water Trail, Regan, Regan Beach. And uh, let's see what are the things we can explore. The beach here is good, but this particular part is, looks to be pretty shallow. That's why the color is much beautiful up some distance.
we are leaving with some teaser of our next episode this is where we are going to end today if you liked our video please give a thumbs up and please share the video with your friends and family also please subscribe to our channel if you have not done it yet it's time to say goodbye i would like to thank you all for watching our videos wish you and your family a very happy and prosperous time till we meet again in one of our next videos